Well guys, I just finished scooping litter boxes and noticed that the litter robot was a little cattywampus, if you will. And also noticed that all three lights are blinking on it. So I ended up writing support at litter-robot.com to ask them what that meant and how to fix it. Okay, here's the email that they sent to me. They said, if the Litter Robot 3 cannot find dump, the Litter Robot 3, by the way, is what they're now calling, what they used to call the open air, this machine. It is the third generation of Litter Robot, but they're just trying to make it easier uh, rather than say open air and say three. So it says, the control panel would display three blinking lights if it cannot find or dump and or the home position. And they asked me if I recently disassembled my globe. I actually was gone this past fall a few times and had a cat sitter come by and watch Charlie and Trig. And ever since then, I've been having some issues. So I'm going to follow their instructions because I think it's because the cat sitter um, messed around with it. So it says, if your unit was purchased on or after February 21st, 2018, your unit will not have an internal shield. It will, however, have the black key on the back of the globe. If you do not have an internal shield, please disregard the shield instructions. So mine did have an internal shield. That little plug in the back um, is now what's replaced the internal shield. And I have a video on YouTube that shows the replacement of the internal shield. But I no longer have that problem. If there's excess weight inside the limit, this will cause the motor to slow down and the unit will not complete a cycle in the allotted time frame, approximately two minutes, 45 seconds. Please check your litter lever to ensure that you are at or below the fill line. If necessary, please check the adapter you're using meets the specifications. That's gotta be fine because I've had it in this location for years. Please make sure there's no damage to the power cord. If your unit is plugged in to an extension cord, please try to a wall outlet to see if this makes a difference. There's also a pin inside the jack in the base. It should have a splint. And if there's no splint, I recommend splinting open with a small, with something small. Internal shield key. The bonnet is this piece right there. The bonnet is not seated properly. This will cause the unit to start and stop during a cycle. To make sure your bonnet is, seal is seated properly, please follow these instructions. If the globe is encountering resistance that is lifting it out of the position as it cycles, friction may will occur between the plastic of the globe and the base, causing the magnets in the globe to skip the position sensor, which will cause the three blinking lights. So that's what looks like is happening here, right? Out of the box, the litter robot has a silicone rubricant layer that wear off over time. An easy solution to this is Pledge Furniture Polish. If you have a different brand of furniture polish, it works well too. We ask that you please simply spray the polish on the paper towel and wipe the track on the base where the globe sits. Please avoid getting it on black gear. I've also attached a picture of the track. Always remember to press reset after making changes to the unit. Run a few test cycles to press the but cycle button and you've completed these troubling steps and your unit is still having trouble. Please advise. Alright guys, we're going to give it a, sh a shot. If you are watching this video and need help with your little robot, the customer service with Little Robot is awesome. You can reach them at 1-877-250-7729 or support, support at litter-robot.com. I'm gonna first unplug it and just see what happens there. And then I'm gonna check all the areas that she suggested. Okay, so one of the things was the power cord and there's a small pinhole that looks fine. The globe sitting okay. And then I have got some waste in the waste drawer. I'm gonna take that out. And then it looks like maybe this or this area is where I need to put the furniture polish. Okay guys, seeing that our unit is three years old, I'm guessing that it's probably the lubricant in the globe where this part of the globe rotates within the litter robot. I don't have spray furniture polish, but I have 
liquid furniture polish. So we'll give this a go. And it says to um, just wipe down. I don't want it to be too too much. Yikes. I think I'll put too much on there. Alright. And it just says to wipe down in this area. So that's what I'm going to do. Right there. Add a little lube. Make sure it goes a little bit better. Gotta add a little lube sometimes. Alright. There's that, and now I'm going to put her back together and see if we can't get this puppy rolling. And let's see if the clumps drop below. One, two. And now it is ready for trash day. All right, guys, so far so good. It's cycling per normal. And oh, it had a little skip there. Maybe it's just oiling up. I'm almost wondering also because, you know, it has the, the track that it sits into, but also the one that rotates on the outside, if I should just wipe that down with the furniture polish too. I might do that. Yay! So I'm going to keep an eye on it for the next couple days. It also tells me to cycle it three more times just to make sure it's all good to go. Um, and I'll let you guys know in this video how it turns out. The litter level is fine. It's actually a little low, if you can tell. So there's that line on the rubber lining there that shows the litter level. And the shadows make it hard. But you can see there that it's a little bit low on this side. So it's not a litter level issue, which was one of their um, suggestions. I definitely think it's the track of the globe, given how... I did go ahead and pop off the bonnet, and I just ran that the paper towel that I had for the furniture polish on it, I just ran it back and forth over that globe track. All right, guys, I haven't concluded that it had to have been the globe track that had lost its lubricant over time. And putting that extra paper towel on the top and then also doing it on the track that's within the base of the litter robot, putting it on the globe really helped out. We haven't had any problems since, and I hope that this video helps someone else that has the three blinking lights on the Litter Robot Open Air or Litter Robot 3. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up.